All right, what's up, people? It's me, Deadly Zodiac, back with another Madden 18 video. We're here with Connected Franchise, and uh, I'm gonna do some post commentary over this. We are in the Super Bowl game. The Bron my team, the Broncos, uh, are 15 and one on the regular season. We beat the Bills in the divisional game and we beat the uh, Patriots in the AFC championship game and now we're in the Super Bowl Super Bowl 52 against the Eagles so we're here and we're ready to win it and uh, yeah so uh, the first quarter got cut out because uh, I don't have my PlayStation set to record that long but yeah so we're, we're starting in the second quarter we already scored a touchdown and three points, and now the Eagles are driving down the field, and I'm just going to get into the commentary now, enough talking about whatever. So uh, the Eagles are going to line up. It's first and ten. Uh, Carson Wentz, he's, he's a good quarterback. He's a good quarterback this year. He's going to pitch it off to Frank Gore. They have Frank Gore. I don't... Oh, no, that's not Frank Gore. They have Frank Gore. But they didn't pitch it to him right there. But yeah, they're driving down the field on us. I'm not going to really talk about the place too much. Just going to... I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I don't really know. I've never done this before. So uh, this is kind of a weird experience for me. A new experience for me. So I'm just going to... I guess I'm just going to go with the flow, if you know what I mean. But yeah. Super Bowl 52, baby. We have the home uni unis on. The sexy home unis. And we have the advantage. Carson Wentz going to go play action. Oh, he has so much time. But Shane Ray is going to push the... Oh, what was the fumble? Oh, I, did, I I forgot about that play. But yeah, Shane Ray, the strength of Shane Ray, he just pushed the offensive lineman towards Carson Wentz and got a hand on Carson Wentz. And then he got the sack not only a sack but a, a strip sack luckily the eagles recovered but carson wentz had all day shane ray finally got to him carson wentz not making a play not throwing it to anyone so now after that sack and that weird choice to throw it to the sideline it is going to be a third and 15 we're going to see if the broncos can stop the eagles here and uh, Shane Ray coming off the edge, trying to get the sack. Almost had him, but Aguilar in the back of the end zone is going to get the touchdown with a dot from Carson Wentz delivered. And that, I mean, that was a pretty good play going right in the back of the end zone. Shane Ray almost got to Carson Wentz and got the sack, but he didn't. And Carson Wentz had just enough time to squeeze it in to Aguilar and... That was a pretty nice play from Carson Wentz. Got him right in the back of the end zone. No one else can touch him. No one could really get anything. So they get a free touchdown, basically. Yeah, alright. So, Broncos have the football on the 21-yard line after an Emmanuel Sanders return for about 23. Looks like the Eagles are going to be blitzing right now. Matt Ryan under center, pressure coming left, tries to roll out right, has no one open, tries to dump it off to Virgil, but gets intercepted. That's going to be intercepted by Jones, and bad read there from Matt Ryan. I understand you're under pressure, you got no one to throw to, and you don't want to take the sack, but trying to force it in was not a good idea. He had, he it looked like he had Virgil open, but... He just threw it too oh short. God, I fucking hate you. Has feet for Broncos hands. almost come up with an interception of their the own right back. there. But feet for hands dropped it. So, uh, yeah, Matt Ryan didn't have to make that throw. He could have threw it out of bounds. He could have just taken the sack. You could blame that on the offensive line, but I'm I'm just going to blame it on, the, on Matt Ryan for now. Just because it is mainly his fault as... Carson Wentz rolls away from the pressure and throws a dime to Aguilar for his second touchdown of the game. Right between two defenders once again. And the PAT is good. So Eagles lead 14 to 10. It is in the second quarter with a minute and 24 seconds left. 
Broncos are going to get the ball, and they have a chance to make something happen. So, yeah, here we go. Emmanuel Sanders returns the ball to the 23-yard line. I'm not sure if I want to just call them the Broncos or if I just want to call them, call it me. I'm not sure if I want to be professional about it or, like, if I just want to just be normal with it. I don't know. I think I, th I just want I just don't want this to be uh, it's already awkward whatever I'm just gonna do whatever suits me whatever I want to do Matty Ice no one open on the slant routes routes he's gonna roll out and uh, pick up a gain of about five yards on the scramble he had no one open so yeah he just took off and underestimated Matt Ryan uh, no one really Expects his speed. He, no one ever really expects Matt Ryan to roll out as CJ Anderson with the dump off. Jukes a guy out and breaks a tackle. <laughs> Tries to get the first down, but he doesn't. And it's a third and one. Matt Ryan throwing deep across the middle to Emmanuel Sanders there. And they are gonna take. we are going to take a timeout here. With only 42 seconds left, we don't want to waste any more time than we have to. Trying to get downfield, trying to get a touchdown or even a field goal will do. Play action. Matt Ryan dumps it off to Virgil Green. I think he picks up the first down there. If not second and in inches, not second and one. We do call another timeout there. Only 37 seconds left on the clock. Matt Ryan under center. Throws to Emmanuel Sanders. Thought he had him there, but... Just a little bit of contact there from the defender stops Emmanuel from catching that ball. I'm surprised they didn't really, they didn't call PI on that, but the refs are crooked, you know. So, I mean, Matt Ryan is going to take off. He's going to pick up the first down smart from Matt Ryan. Had a huge gaping hole, no pun intended, uh, down the middle. And he just picked up that first down with no one open downfield. He's going to get back under center. And throw a dime to J.J. Nelson, who is returning from injuries. He has been out for about eight weeks, and he he gets cleared. He got cleared just in time to return for the Super Bowl, which is amazing. He is one of our big threats down the field. He has a ton of speed. And C.J. Anderson fitting it in right there. Catches the ball between two defenders for the touchdown before the end of the half. Matt Ryan throws a dime between two defenders. And it's now 17-14 to 14 going into half. Nine seconds left. Eagles, they can make something happen. But it is highly unlikely. So. Eagles are going to get the ball. Nine seconds left. Don't know why my mic is trying to turn off. It's kind of stupid. So Carson Wentz is gonna... I believe he's gonna hand it off here and just take us into the half. Yes, he is. And we're going into halftime. I will see you on the other side. Larry Ridley, go ahead and take it away, buddy. Second. The pass 
one who comes away with the ball. After the INT, offense comes out now. Winston's got the completion from the gun. This goes for a touchdown. The lead grows to four. Bang late in the second. The catch is made after a quick pass, and he caps off a long drive with the TD. That puts them up by a field goal. That'll do it from our EA Sports Studios. The second half of Super Bowl 52 still to come. Okay, we are back in the second half of Super Bowl 52. I don't know why Larry said we're taking it back to Brandon and Charlie, but I, I don't know. He could say whatever he wants, okay? But we're here in the second half. We do have the ball first, so we're going to look to go downfield and waste as much time as we can and get more points on the board so that we could stop the Eagles from catching up to us. Oh, wait, CJ is hurt on the field. I mean, not a, not a big deal. We weren't really utilizing CJ in any way anyway. No, and that was not supposed to be like that, but whatever. But, yes, we are heavily focused on the passing game in the Super Bowl, so CJ getting hurt isn't r extremely significant. And I don't think it will cost us this game. He might he might even return. Even if so, if we even lose him, we still have Devontae Booker, so it's okay. As a tight pass, thought that was going to be intercepted for a minute from Matt Ryan down to Virgil Green. Only picks up two yards. Not the smartest play, but I mean, whatever gets you down the field, whatever works. So we are going to see Matt Ryan dropping under center again. He's going to dump it off to Emmanuel Sanders. And he's going to pick up the first down there. Nice nice play from Matt, Matt Ryan. Dumping it down, knowing who he's got open and who to throw it to. As C.J. Anderson is back on the field. And we are going to hand it off to C.J. And he picks up about 8 yards on the play. So CJ Anderson is back on the field. Good to see. We are going to utilize him and run in a few times before we go back to the pass game. Catch the Eagles off guard as we pick up a first down there with CJ. You see he only has four rushes and only 16 yards to his name. So CJ not doing good in the Super Bowl, which is why we are heavily focused on the passing attack. And Matt Ryan is going to go play action. Throws it across the middle. To Demarius Thomas, tight throw there, nice throw, and it picks up about nine yards. One more yard for the first down. Heavy passing offense. The Eagles do not have an answer for it. Matt Ryan only threw one pick, and it was because he was forced to get the ball off under pressure. He's gonna throw it deep for Demarius Thomas, almost caught in the end zone for a touchdown, but it was in double coverage. So it is going to be third and one. Don't think we're going to run it here. No, we're going to pass it again. Dump down to Virgil Green. Picks up. Picks up about five yards there. Maybe ten. I don't know. I can't really. I've got this side screen and I can't go full screen. So I can't really tell. But yeah, no, we're not running it. We're always going passing and oh that was a tight throw there almost intercepted off the deflection but yeah we're always passing and the eagles are starting to catch on to our pass game they realize that we're not running it so we can't use play action plays to our advantage because the eagles know we are not going to run it we are going to throw it because our run game is just not strong enough for us to just first to utilize it as a pick there thrown by matt ryan and I told you the Eagles are starting to catch on. They know we're not going to run it. They know they got to come out in a formation to stop the pass every single play on defense. And they finally get a pick. And they're going to go back for six there. Passing it too much. Maybe should have mixed in the run a little bit. Oh, and oh, coming off the edge. He's going to block the field goal. It's going to be picked up by Darian Stewart. What a turn of events as the pick six 
talk about an interesting fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, I just my live commentary just said it right there. Wow. Pick six. And then they go for the the point after and it's blocked. And it's picked up and taken back all the way for two points that makes this game a one point game. Twenty to nineteen here. With two minutes left in the third quarter. This is a really interesting Super Bowl. My live Pick commentary six, said uh, it again. Return for fucking touch or uh, two points. Live commentary keeps saying it. Thank you, live com me. Thank you. Wow, what a turn of events. So we're gonna come back out here. We are gonna be passing it again as we already know that CJ Anderson has not been going this game as a sack. Comes in right there. I don't know why I'm singing. Let's just admire my beautiful voice for a minute. As we get sacked two times in a row. Oh my god, my voice is terrible. Please stop singing. Why are you singing? Stop singing! Bro, if you don't stop, I swear to god. I'm trying to commentate. Can you stop? Wow, what a catch! Okay, stop. Seriously, stop talking. I'm supposed to be commentating. Bro, shut the fuck up. Shut up. I, hey, this is not a live commentary. This is a post commentary. If you don't shut up, I swear to God. Okay. Nope, you're not done. Okay, okay. Alright, I got you. You done yet? You're not done yet. Not done yet. Okay. We're just gonna, I guess we're just gonna wait then. Oh, yeah, my terrible voice. Thank you. Can you please stop singing? You done? Alright, I think I'm done. Nope. Nope. Bro, can you just let me commentate, please? I can't focus. I can't commentate. Cause myself, I can't, I can't. I think I'm done singing now. You done? All right, I could commentate again. All right. So the play action is catching the Eagles off guard. I don't know how. Because we haven't been running it. This freaking, this whole game is Matt Ryan gonna take off and dive into the end zone for a touchdown. Two back-to-back -back plays. Two back-to-back -back passing plays, and then Matt Ryan catches him off guard with a run. He doesn't have to hand it off. He can just run himself. But he he picked up, he threw two 10-yard dots back-to-back, -back, and then he runs into the, the end zone himself. He knew the Eagles were going to be in a, in a passing formation. He, as we go for the two and we pick it up. We needed that to make this a seven-point game. But anyway, he knew the Eagles were going to be in a passing formation for on defense. And he knew that they were going to come out and try to stop the pass. So we took off, and he ran it. And the Eagles weren't expecting a run. So they got caught off guard just like that two-point conversion. The Eagles were expecting pass. And Matt Ryan audibled it and handed it off to CJ. And he picked up the two-point conversion. And it's a seven-point game. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to turn on the epic music here. Four minutes left. We got four minutes left in the fourth quarter. As Carson Wentz picks up about 20 yards on the play there. Seven point game, ladies and gentlemen. The Eagles trying to drive, trying to win this Super Bowl. Oh, but Shelby did you Harris see that Harris. hurdle by Shelby Harris Jump getting to the quarterback? Wow, what a play, and this is big for the Broncos. This is huge. Now the Eagles stuck at second and 18. They need to get 18 yards for the first down. 
They need a touchdown on this drive or else they're put away. And Carson Wentz rolls out, slides down after picking about nine yards up. It is third and ten for the Eagles here. They need to pick up this first down. This could be game over. Carson Wentz under center throws the ball away. He almost got sacked there. It is going to be fourth and ten. And the Eagles are going to punt it. Ladies and gentlemen, three minutes left in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 52. And the Eagles are punting it to Emmanuel Sanders, who gets downed at the nine-yard line. This could be the final drive of Super Bowl 52, the Broncos. We could put it away here as we hand it off to CJ, who gets stuffed in the backfield. Second and 12. This game is coming down to the wire. Matt Ryan under center, not going to hand the ball off. Pressure coming, and he gets the corner out to Virgil Green, who tries to stay in bounds, but steps out. That is a first down. And this could end the game. That first down could have ended the game. Eagles don't have to waste the time out. As Virgil did step out of bounds. This game is close. Matt Ryan throws to another corner route. This time stays in bounds. I believe that was to Demarius Thomas. And the Eagles cannot let us keep driving like this if they want to win this Super Bowl. We have hit the two-minute warning. First and ten on the th on our own 39-yard line. We are going to hand the ball off to C.J. Anderson, who gets stuffed in the backfield again. And the Eagles are going to take their first time out. Second and 14. One minute and 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. And another handoff to CJ. No, I believe that was... Yeah, that was CJ. He gets stuffed again in the backfield for a loss of a yard. Third and 13. And if we get this first down, this is game over on third and 13. Matt Ryan under center. Dumps it off to Virgil Green. He doesn't get the first down. And the Eagles take their final timeout with a minute and 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And we are going to punt the ball to the Eagles. They have another chance. They have one more chance to tie the game and send it to overtime in Super Bowl 52. The Eagles are going to get the ball. Got a chance to tie it. Guys, this game is coming down to the wire. Eagles take the snap. Carson Wentz under center. Down the middle. Got a man. Spins and he picks up a 36 yards on the play. A minute and 25 seconds left. First and 10 on the 45 yard line. Down the middle. And Carson Wentz completes it to his tight end. The Eagles are on the two yard line. Two yards away from tying this game up. Carson Wentz with a clutch drive. Going to hand the ball off. Gets nothing. It is stuffed. Eagles one more play can get them into this end zone. It's gonna be a pass to the back of the end zone and a touchdown. And this game is tied. Just like that a clutch drive from Carson Wentz ties the game up.
But there is still 50 seconds left on the clock for us to make a move and break the tie and win Super Bowl 52. We are going to get the kickoff. Emmanuel Sanders in the end zone. Going to take it out. Goes up to about the 25-yard line there. 48 seconds left on the clock. Three timeouts on our own 25-yard line. We've got a long way to go. But we have Matt Ryan, a veteran quarterback under center, and an amazing wide receiver core to get us there. And already we're on the 50-yard line. With a dot across the middle. Matt Ryan forcing it in. Dropped. From Virgil Green. What a game from Matt Ryan here. Can he make this clutch drive. To break the tie and win the Super Bowl for his team. Going across the middle. And he's got it to JJ Nelson. 24 seconds left on the clock. And they're going to take a timeout. This game is over. All they have to do is waste time. Matt Ryan under center again. They're going to pass it. He's get sacked. With only 18 seconds left. That could have knocked them out of field goal range. Matt Ryan trying to come up clutch here. Going to fake the handoff. Forcing it in, and he's got his target on the 10-yard line. Matt Ryan coming up clutch. Got the corner route. I believe it was the AJ Derby. A clutch play from Matt Ryan. Gets him, gets his team back into field goal range. Gonna call another passing play before they're gonna take the field goal. Matt Ryan rolling out, trying to get in the end zone, but throws it out of bounds with four seconds left on the clock. They're going to take the field goal here from the 10-yard line, a chip shot. And he's got it. With only one second left in this game. We take the lead with a field goal. 30-27. to 27. Eagles still have a chance to take this return to the house and win this game. It's a possibility. And he gets tackled. It's game over. The Broncos have won Super Bowl 52. What a game. And I'm done with the post commentary. This was an insane game. Regular season, we beat the Bills, we beat the Patriots, and now we beat the Eagles in the freaking Super Bowl, man. An amazing game. If you guys want more content like this, please leave a like, subscribe. I will live stream connected franchise episodes. I really enjoyed doing this. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And I'll see you later. What a game. What a game. MVP Matt Ryan. Super Bowl MVP, baby. Maddie Ice. <laughs> this is surreal, and it's in a video game. <laughs> oh, baby. Super Bowl 52 champions.